Okay, so the heart of my investment strategy. New investors should focus on income strategy first. I, 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 I'm, I have to be honest. I, I, I cannot think of anything that makes sense. If you, if you said, no, the guy need to invest on growth. Guy need to invest, buy Tesla, need to buy gold, need to buy a house, need to uh, invest on a rich girl. It didn't matter what the investment is. <clears throat> it's just not gonna be as successful as income strategy first. Okay, so here's why. <clears throat> what you put into the investment is what you get in return in percentage. If that percentage is 20%, you're gonna get 20% return. If you get, if that percentage is 50%, you get 50% return. You get that percentage is 3%, you get 3% return. What you put into the investment, the capital you put in, is the return. So at the end of the day, no matter what vehicle, no matter what asset you put in, it's an investment of the capital that you put in. <clears throat> so if you were to buy, uh, you know, the S SP 500, which is a very good investment, probably the best investment. It's it's gonna be number two in my bullet here, I'm gonna talk about. Um, the, the the problem set is you, you can only put what you can contribute. So the maximum you can contribute. So some people can only contribute $500. Some people can only contribute $100 because life, real life expense take place. You got, you got real life problem, you got real life situation, so you got to pay the bills, you got to pay the car payments, the house, the mortgage, and all that stuff. Or the rent, uh, girlfriend, go eat dinners and all that stuff, buy coffee and stuff. Every real life situation, eat up on your capital investment you go in. I'm able to put $1,000 a month into it. That's it. I can't put more, I can't put less. Oh, I can put less, but I, can put, I can't put more. $1,000 into it. So for $1,000, that, that is the amount. So, guess what? If you put $1,000 every month, I have direct deposit $1,000 a month as long as I'm working. So for the next two years, you can do the math. And this is one thing I love about investment. You can do the math. It's very difficult to do the math in housing rental property because the tenant has a vote. You can do all the funky math you want. You can do. You can be the best mathematician in the world when the tenants walk out of you and then your math has gone right out the window. That's the fundamental problem. I don't like how, uh, rental property. You can't do the math, but you can do the math in investment and it's easy. It's really easy. So the investment strategy has to be income first. It has to be income first before anything, before crypto, before S&P 500, before anything, anything. Because if I can only put 12,000, uh, if I can only put $1,000 every month, the most I can put is 12,000 per year. That's it. That's the most. That's the that's my maximum. So, you know, when people talk about if you have ten thousand dollar, if you have a hundred thousand dollar, if you have you know a million dollar, you know, you you buy this. They do that a lot when they talk about uh, when they talk about investment strategy. Well, if you have ten thousand dollar, you put in, you will make a million dollar in you know twenty years and ten years, whatever. No. This is real science we're not talking it's fiction because you don't have ten thousand dollars you have zero dollar right now you start with zero so why why do why do you even bother in entertain it why do you even bother have that conversation you don't do that you start with zero dollar all right and you put in a thousand dollar that's how much i put in if you put five hundred dollar that number is different if you put if you put $100 every month of investment strategy, guess how much you put in at the end of the year? Right there, 1,200. So why bother going in and talk about, well, if we have $10,000 of TSLY, you're gonna get this amount. You see that in, in the fund 
when they when they when you read the fund manager description of the fund, they always do ten thousand dollars. And well, that's not your number. That's that's your number. If you put a hundred dollars a month, you, the most you're gonna put is twelve thousand dollars per year. Maybe on occasion you get some bonus, you get extra money, gift and stuff that you can throw it in. But but from but that's it. It's twelve it's twelve hundred dollars per year. So why pretend to do something else? And why pretend to do something crazy? Alright. So use real Come number. Here. Yes, sir. Can I yeah. cut in here a yeah. little bit? Yeah. You you can cut in any time, you know. Um I'm going to make a suggestion that people make up their own little spreadsheet and you can do the maths on this really easy. If you put in $100 a month and and, and you get a 50% yield, yep. divide $50 by 12, so that's $4.50 a month roughly, yep. that is income. That $4.50, you add to your second month's contribution of $100, so you're putting in $104.50. And then it becomes... Um, $109 or $113.50 it'll be for the third month. So although you might only be putting in $100 a month, that's all you can afford, the dividends will help build your portfolio. Not everybody can start out the way Camille or I did or, or anything like that, you know. Camille started putting in $1,000 a month and then he put a lump sum in and all that sort of stuff. And we all started out in similar ways. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Avi, um, no, you you brought a good point. We we just a little bit, we're just a little too early. It's, it's the next step I was going to talk about. Oh, okay. Sorry, yeah. buddy. No, no, it's okay. Because eventually I got to talk <laughs> about that. <laughs> it's going to lead to that. Me's point is everybody has to start somewhere, and the most important thing you can do for yourself is start. Yes. Yes. The best, the best investment strategy, the number one is you got to start investing, whatever it is. You just got to start it, all right. And then, and then the second best, which is not in here, I guess, I guess I can type it in there. <laughs> you know, I, I thought it would be obvious. You know, start investing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number one, start investing. Number two is income strategy. Now there's other, but I, I chose income strategy. Okay, use real number. Uh, this is pro tip. Just re use real number. Don't use fake number, all right? Because if you start with zero, then it's zero dollar. Don't pretend to, oh, I have ten thousand dollars, and don't speak like that. Don't speak like that unless it's real. You know, like, oh, I'm gonna make fifty thousand dollars a year. You know, this thing gonna grow fifty times. No, that use real number to to in in your vocabulary in your language. If you're an investor, use real number. All right. So if you put $100 a month, you, that's all. That's it, you're gonna get $1,200 per year, but that's what, that's $1,200 a year you can use to invest and do something. But I put 1,000 for the sake of my, because that's what I do, so I get $12,000 per year, all right. So here's, here's the thing, at $12,000 a year, in two years, I get $24,000. All right, 24,000 in two years. Well, in four years, you're gonna get forty-eight thousand. I mean, it's just it's just obvious math right now, right? In four years, I'm just gonna. This is as dummy proof as possible. You're almost getting roughly, almost close to fifty thousand. You get forty-eight thousand. That is it. So if you do nothing at all and you just put a thousand dollars a month into under you need your mattress, in four years you get about forty-eight thousand dollars. You know, so that is somewhat more reality. Okay, so. How do you maximize it? This is why going after income is so important. So important. So important. Let me just break it down this way now. This is this is my reality. I start off with zero dollar, a thousand per month, and and so I haven't reached one year yet, but I put more money into it. So if I go after income. I still have a thousand dollar per month every month, but guess what I get? I get dividend. That's what Matt is talking about. I get dividends. If your dividends only a hundred, which is, which is ten percent, guess what? It's a hundred and ten now. 
this number is going to change. Just do the math that way. This is why income strategy is so important to start off with. And here's the beauty of it. And you're going to see it. You're going to see it as I go through my investment journey here. And, uh, as I go through the PowerPoint, I put a thousand per month and I'm going after high yield dividend Tesla, for example, and it generated me, generated me good income. So I think somewhere around June or July or June or something like that, before even I put, even before I put more money into it, I was making about thousand dollars a month. So you got to go look through, go go to look through my video. I can't remember exactly when I reached a thousand dollar per month. Now thousand dollar per month, it wasn't all Tesla, but it's a collection of Tesla clips, Bitto, and all those guys. The combined effort I made a thousand dollar a month. And I remember my first video, my first video, I made $30, like back in January, like the first, because I have $1,000 you put into it. Here, let me just do the calculation for you. And so you kind of understand what I'm talking about. Let me pull the calculator out. Now my first fund that I bought was, my first fund I bought was Reality Income. I bought Reality, I bought SoFi, which is not dividend income generating. Uh, I bought MPW, I bought AOL, I bought like a whole bunch of stuff, you know, Coca-Cola, I bought Coca-Cola. But somewhere down the line, I switch it, you know, like I can't remember, I switch in February or something like that. So I remember the first time I made the video. So uh, if I were to buy a thousand and I have a thousand dollars, let's say I were to buy uh, I think I bought Tesla and OLK. I can't remember what I bought, you know, that I it was starting to get pick up some yield. Clip was one of the people out there. But let's just round it off, divide by 18, because that was the average price that I paid for everything during the time. $18. So I get about roughly $55. Uh, $55. And then these guys were paying 83 cents during the time. So I get $50, but it wasn't $50 because I got only $30. I made a YouTube video for $30. The reason why it was not $30 because I own, I own remember, Reality Income only paid 3%, Coca-Cola only paid 3%, so far I don't even pay dividends. I think I own Ford, I own TT, I, I own a lot of stuff. I got to go to the you, uh, um, uh, Yahoo and I can show you what I own at one point. I own stuff that's all over it. But the stuff that I own gave me only $30. $30. $30. So my first month, I only make $30 of dividend income. And I remember I made the YouTube video. For those who see the YouTube video, please let me know. Just raise your hand. Go, ooh, ooh. And I, it was the, one of my first short video. And I told everyone. And my family made fun of me. They teased me about it. They're like, you're going to retire off $30,000? Uh, $30? And it's, I said, hey, con congratulations. Uh, let, let's just go find him instead of just talking about it. It's a short video. I hope I, I can find it. This is when I reach $500. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to find it because it stopped right there. Um, I can't click on it. <clears throat> so when I made $30, I made, I made a short video and I said, hey, congratulations, I made $30. And and everybody was making fun of me. They're like, ha ha, how do you go from $10,000 to $30,000? You're, you're not going to retire off that. And this is when it, this is when the reality kicked in for them. Yes, it's only $30 right now, but it's $30 for the rest of my life, unless one of those companies fail. Like Coca-Cola's not gonna fail. I, I was buying company that was not gonna fail. Re Realty income's not gonna fail. It's the best, it's the best real estate company in in the stock market. Public traded company is the it's the best company. There's other company that's not publicly traded, really, really good. I wish I can own them. Yeah, it's not gonna fail, and uh, and and that's when it kick in. I, I'm gonna make thirty dollar for the rest of my life. Thirty dollar every month for the rest of my life. So that thirty dollar, it's gonna go right into this PowerPoint, into this PowerPoint right here. All right. Come here. Yes. Here you go. Yeah. I'll add this because I haven't said this out loud to anybody before. Yeah. I've been investing for a lot of years, and uh -huh. I. Predominantly in Tesla. Yep. It's 2016. Okay. 
I only started my dividend investing journey like you in January, and I made my first investment in May. Now, for the rest of time, if Tesla, Bido and, and Clip do what they've done since they started on the dividend side of things, I'll make about $100,000 a month that I can then use to fund something else. Yep. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, um, it sounds like a lot of money and it is to some people and I understand that. And and people would love to be in this position. I get it. Um, I'm not saying it to flaunt it or to big note myself or anything like that. Yep. All you need to do is chop a couple of zeros off what I've done and it's exactly the same for you. Yep. That's the point I'm trying to make here. And it's like I was always a total return person. And then something clicked with me over Christmas and I went on this journey to find, and in particular, I was looking for high dividend. I, I wanted something that was risky, that paid a big return, and I was prepared to lose a portion of my money to do it. Yep. And I can't see how I'll lose. Um, like everybody talks about, and, and this is getting a little bit ahead of things, mm -hmm. but but um, everybody talks about the share price dropping and all that sort of stuff. The biggest thing apart from starting is to be careful at your initial buy-in price. The thing you need to remember ongoing is when you're buying more shares, make sure they're under your own average cost. Yeah. Because then you always be ahead. Doesn't really matter what the share price does because you're not going to sell. You've bought the dividend forever, or for as long as they're around, yep. or until you decide to sell out. You've had enough. Whatever your reason is. The other thing is is to make sure you have a plan. What's yep. your buy-in price? What you would do if something happens, and what your exit price is. If it goes below that, you're out. Or if the dividend drops for the, a few months or I, months or whatever your number is that, that you're talking about slide number we're gonna get there uh slide number yeah, we 14. <laughs> here's my slide 14. The whole thing is, I, I might talk some big numbers yeah. but all you need to do is drop a zero or two off to get to your level yeah yeah it, it's that simple yeah i was never a dividend investor it, it never even crossed my mind to think that way yeah and i wasted a lot of years i could have made a truck ton more money I'll tell but you right now, said that, those who watch my video, there's, there's like 20 people on YouTube right now watching this and then other people yeah. watch it after uh, when I upload it. If you follow this yeah. method, you're going you, you're gonna to be you're going to be rich. You will. You will richer what, what than if, what you are what if, because rich is, is, rich is subjective. It happen. Yeah, it will happen because it's happening it, to me. It, it's happening right now, it's, real time, you know? It's happening to all of us together. <laughs> yeah. And it's a great community to be a part of. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Okay, I'll shut up a bit now and let you keep going. No, I appreciate it. So Matt is talking about the, end, the you know, like, he's right. Uh, and his number is a lot. If you if you want to talk about scary number, he's doing the exact same thing that I'm doing, but he's talking about in millions. So it's 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 just, you know, it's, it's exact same thing. Instead of putting a thousand, just put a whole bunch of zero in there. All right, so so one thousand dollar per month, I get about thirty dollar dividend uh, monthly. All right, this is monthly, but I can't remember what the dollar amount is. If somebody can do the math for me, because I, I end up getting a thousand dollar dividend. So how much do I have in my capital in my investment? It's somewhere around uh, because I was buying mostly Tesla, ninety percent Tesla, and Tesla was paying a dollar back then. You know, eighty three cents. A dollar and stuff like that. So if you, um, uh, if it's uh, somebody who's cut can calculate really fast. Matt, can you calculate this uh, for me uh, while I'm talking? I just don't have time well, to. A thousand by eighteen is eighteen thousand. It's about eight thousand. So eight. Yeah. Yeah. So I think some. About twenty dollars tied up. Yeah. So I think I have about eight thousand uh, dollar. I, I don't I don't know what the exact amount is. Uh, your contribution per month, All right? So 
I start off, I put a thousand contribution per month. I made $30 of dividends. Okay. But remember the second month, I put another thousand dollar plus the $30 back into the system. The third month I put in another thousand plus $60 because I have, you know, I have $30 worth of it and another $30 worth of it. So you can see it's compounding. And the third month I'm putting not 60, not 30, 30, it's, 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 it's 30 plus other numbers because every time you put it in, it, it compounds even more. So it's like almost a hundred dollars. So in a very short time, I don't know when this video was made. Let me just, I'll tell you right uh, now. Another milestone I just broke last night. $500 uh, two average monthly dividends. Okay, so here it is. My portfolio is $14,000. Uh, I started in January. Now it's July heading toward August. Uh, another milestone I just broke last night. Right, 500 so what happened is, let me take off the PowerPoint. Here is when I broke 500. Uh, I don't have the date when I made this video. I think I can go to video and sort it out and find the date. Um, give me a second, right here. This is a milestone I reached. I made $500. I went from 30, I went from $30 a month to $300 a month. And then, and then I broke 500. I knew I was halfway there, I was like $500. I was so proud of myself. So I know this is July because I record this in London. So, uh, no, yeah, I record this coming from, uh, or either on my way to London or coming from London. So $500, uh, $500 a month. So I broke the, I broke the, uh, the halfway point. I was like, wow, halfway point, I made $500 a month. And it, it, and, it, and from that $500 a month, it moved really, really fast. So, and then eventually I get a thousand dollar dividends and roughly $8,000 on my portfolio. If you put $1,000 a month. So if you just take, if you just take the 1,000, you take the zero out and make 100, you're gonna get $3 per month. If you take the zero out, it's $800 contribution uh, a month. And then you, uh, when you reach 8,000, you're gonna get $100 a month. You know, so it just just takes the zero out, and it's essentially the same. But at a thousand dollar contribution, I was uh, the first month I made thirty thirty dollar dividend monthly, and then eventually I made eight thousand dollars a month, and I reached a thousand dollar a month milestone. Okay, so here is the beauty of it. Remember my investment strategy? I started with zero, only a thousand dollar per month. Well, guess what? Now, now I'm putting a thousand dollar. plus my $1,000 of dividends. That's, you can see where it's going. This is why, this is why income strategy is so important. So now I'm putting $2,000 a month into the investment. 1,000 is my money, the other 1,000 is from the dividends. I'm putting 2000 into it. You're not going to get this number if you don't do income. You're not going to get it. If you don't do any dividends at all, now if you do low dividends, you're going to get a lower number. If you do high dividend, you get a high number. And that's why we go that's why we we go after the high yield dividends. All right, you're just not going to get this number 1000 plus 1000. 1000 is your contribution, the other 1000 is dividend. Now you're putting 2000 into the system back. That's how you're going to compound and make the money if you don't do the investment strategy you're brand new and i'm brand new me matt matt is not brand new to investing but he's brand new to the invest, investment journey also we're both kind of new to the invest to high yield dividends if you don't do the dividends and let's say you take that money and you buy you buy whatever comic books well you don't you don't get the dividends uh you want to go buy stock like Tesla, they don't they don't pay dividends. They don't pay dividends. Okay, so you're not gonna get this. You, so every month you're just getting you're just putting one thousand of your money into it, one thousand your money into it, one thousand your money into it. That's all you can get. That's all the best you can do. And at the end of the year, at the end of at the end of the year, you put twelve thousand in. And four years, you put forty eight thousand in it. Forty eight thousand dollar of whatever stock you buy. And that's true for crypto too. That's true for anything. 
any type of truthful currency if you buy currency because they don't generate dividends. If you're talking about, if you're talking about buying growth, or that's true for, you know, for buying a farm, you just don't get the dividends. And so, but that you you'll get forty eight thousand dollar because you put a thousand you four years later you'll get forty eight thousand dollar value of that stocks. Now that stock has to grow, and if that stock grow, then you do great, then you do really really well. All right, but that's that's just that's just wild guess because you don't know if it's gonna grow or not. All right, so here's one thousand. So I get one thousand my contribution. My, uh, I'm just going to put a C here because it's my contribution and 1,000 of dividends and now I get $2,000. Well, my current state right now, I don't, I don't have 1,000 of current, uh, I still put 1,000 of contribution, but guess what I have right now? I have $2,000 of dividends. So my total contribution to the system is $3,000. And it's September. If you put three thousand dollar every month, and if you just keep investing in any any high yield amount, three thousand dollar. Let's say you uh, let's say you buy uh, uh, let's pick OARK. I, I I I've got what the price is. Let me just go look at the price real quick. This is not even high yield. Oh, we'll pick anyone. Let's pick SVOL. Twenty-two ninety-two, very stable. Give me dividends of. Give me dividends of thirty cents every month. Thirty cents every month. You know, average about thirty cents, right? Uh, it's. I think this average is thirty-two cents. Yeah, I'm pretty confident the average is thirty-two cents. All right. So average is thirty-two cents. But it's 22, so divide by 22. So you got 136 every month times 32 cents. Every month, every time that I take that money, I just buy SVOL. I'm getting roughly 43 cents or 43 dollars every month. In it just compound that way. I just, if I just take all the money and just buy it. But if I go buy a, a, a clip, for example. Three thousand dollar, and it, it, well, let's let's just use Tesla because that's what I talk about all the time. I want to I want to do clip, but let's use Tesla. What's what's Tesla price? If you buy Tesla right now, right now, that's not Tesla. Tesla is thirteen dollar thirty two cent. This is one of the best prices I've seen in a while. Oh shoot! I just screw up. 3,000 divided by 1332 equal to 225 times 70 cents because that's the average for Tesla right now. You get $157 every month. And, and with this number, you can calculate it two months down the road, three months down the road. And remember, this is the average. There's only two variable change. The stock price will change and the dividend payout is, will change. But at least you give you a ballpark figure of, of somewhat of eighty percent accuracy. I can I can say that in November I'm going to make one hundred fifty seven, in December I can make you know roughly one hundred fifty seven because I get three thousand dividend three thousand dollar dividend every time. But remember I have one hundred fifty seven now, so if I have put three three thousand dollar, if I put if I put three thousand dollar, let me go back to my PowerPoint, uh, three thousand dollar plus. If I just buy Tesla, it's hundred and fifty-seven dollar. Hundred and fifty-seven dollars, you know. And so that's gonna compound every month. Every month I just throw it in there. So the next month is three thousand hundred and fifty-seven dollar to buy more share of something. It's just compound. And and if you keep doing it all for 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 12 months you can see the number the number multiply so think about this in 10 months in 10 months i will get thirty thousand dollars regardless what dividends i bought because i already have three thousand dollars of contribution going in there 
it's thirty thousand dollar in in ten months. Remember, I was telling you that if you don't do dividend investment, the most you're gonna make in four months is forty eight thousand dollar. The most you can make is forty eight thousand dollar, and plus four whatever years, the value that you bought. Yeah, four years, not four months. Oh yeah, four years. I'm sorry, four years. Thank you. Thanks for the correction. Yeah, in four years you get forty eight thousand dollar plus whatever the value. All right. If you buy comic books, you value very little. If you buy baseball card, value very little. If you buy, you know, Tesla, you value probably a little lot more. But that's all depending on the value. But, but this is guaranteed. This is you're gonna get three thousand dollars if you just do it the method that I use. And this is this is not even this is this is not even two, four years. This is this is month number nine because I'm in September right now. This is not even I well when I reached eight thousand dollar it was not it was like month July or something whatever the month it was when I reached a thousand dollar month eight or month nine. Yeah, so we're not even talking about one year and I'm already generating this kind of money. This is why income is so powerful, so powerful. So this is what happened at the end of the rainbow. I always look at everything from the end of the rainbow and work backward. If I get five thousand dollar of income at uh, dividends. plus my $1,000 contribution. By that time, I'm gonna stop the $1 contribution. Remember, I only put 1,000 contribution because I have a job. But once I quit my job, I don't have $1,000 contribution, so that 1,000 contribution just went away, so it's now it's only $5,000 dividends. With $5,000 dividends, I can put it into any system, and I will generate, I can either spend that money, or I can put it into the system and I can generate more, more wealth. At this point, let's say for example, I go after growth stock. I'll pick my favorite, my favorite growth stock, SoFi, SoFi Bank. SoFi is the darling of the growth investments strategy right now. Everybody, every, this is like the, the, the hot ticket that to buy because everybody thinks that this company is gonna be a 10X. The reason why it's still sitting at seven dollar because it's not generating any profit right now. But once they break even, and they're on pace to break even right now, they're losing money. They just, they just, just like any startup, they don't make a lot of money. They just spending, they just spending on their investment capital, right? But once they, they're on pace to make money in 2024, so in 2024 when they generate a positive return a positive income, this stock's gonna explode. It's gonna explode. It's 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 gonna be better than Bank of America, gonna be better than anything. So far, bank is is like the darling of all fintechs company. I've been watching this thing since the beginning. I, I love this company. The reason I didn't buy it, I bought it one point and I sold it because I'm going I put all my money into Tesla to generate that income. But imagine I have five thousand dollar of this so now what's gonna happen, let's say, let's say, let's say, imagine this is five years later and this is the current price. So now I have $5,000 divided by what was the price of uh, $7.50. It's $663 share. I get $663 share every month. Let's say I just take that $5,000 and just keep buying SoFi Bank. So, so far. So now I not, I not only have 63, but let's say I buy it for a whole year. I just did that for a whole year. So that's uh, time 12. So I'm gonna get almost 8,000 share or, um, let me just, so I don't forget my math. I just need a note. Where's my notepad? Uh, I'm just gonna write this out, seven, nine, Five seven. Okay. Remember, I put five thousand dollars every month. If I put five thousand every month for a whole year, time twelve year, I spend sixty thousand dollar. All right, sixty thousand dollar into SoFi Bank. That sixty thousand dollar wasn't even my money in the beginning. It was my dividend money I earned. But now I have sixty thousand dollar I put into SoFi Bank, and if SoFi explode. 
let's say their stock went up to $20 or $30, let's say $30 because that's what Bank of America is right now. Bank of America is somewhere around $30. Let's say uh, BOC, BOA. What's Bank of America? B. Anybody know what Bank of America? I thought it was BOA. B of, uh, B of A? It's gonna it's gonna be better than Bank of America, so they're gonna say about thirty dollar. Let's say let's say it went up to thirty dollar, but remember the first year I spent only sixty dollar. Now the price is gonna go up. Obviously that that number is gonna be different. All right, but let's let's just fast forward and now I own I own seven hundred and ninety uh, seven thousand nine hundred fifty seven share. Time thirty dollars. There's my investment. There's my investment, $60, $60,000 that year, I'm gonna make $238,000. And I, it wasn't even my money to start off with because of the dividend income. That's why dividend income is so important because you're generating income so you can do these things. And you can do it for crypto, you can do it for anything. This is why I love the idea, I just can't do it now. I would, I would buy crypto in a heartbeat if crypto is gonna go up, I, I wanna buy it. Because if you bought something at $4, let's say that I have $60,000, all right? And I'm buying it at $4.60. And I'm sorry. Yeah, 60,000 uh, 60, uh, 60, times $4.60. Wait, why, why my math is not? Oh, it's divide. I'm sorry. I got to get the share first. I'm sorry. I got to screw up. I'm sorry. I got to get the share first. I'm sorry. I got to screw up. This is Litecoin, uh, you know, crypto. This is why I want to buy crypto. It is like if, 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 if it's, it worked out, I want to buy it for the reason. So I will own 13. Uh, I don't know. If, I, don't, I don't know anything about crypto, so I may speak out of my butts here. But I just I just know that let's say it's a share. I own 13, uh, 13,000 share. All right. But if that share jumped to, let's say this thing jumped to like $40 or $50. All right. Uh, let's say let's say using $50 as a number times 50. That's how much I would make. It's almost a more than half a million dollars. That's why it's worth doing it. That's why it's, but I didn't do it with my money. I, but that's why dividend income has to be first. Because once you generate in four years, if I can generate, you know, $60,000 or $40,000, whatever. Remember, that's $5,000 a month and it's only one year. You know, so this is why it's so important. Dividend the income is like, the income uh, income is the most important vehicle because you're using that money to buy all these other stuff and you're not even spending your money if i were to spend my money now if you don't do dividend income the most that i can contribute the most i can contribute is a thousand dollar every month that's it the most i can contribute is a thousand every month time four uh, uh divide by 4.6 that's all I'm getting is 217 every month, every month for the next four years. If if I don't do any type of dividend income, I just get $217 every month. You know, uh, this is why it, it didn't matter what v asset I talk about. I can talk about another asset. You know, I can talk about anything, uh, anything. Obviously, the more expensive the asset, the less of that share. If you're talking about one thousand dollar. I'm gonna buy spy, which is like four hundred dollar. Guess how many I own? It's like two, two point five. That's it. Two share of spy, S P Y. So, so it's not. This is why. Uh, this is why I went after dividend income. This is why our channel just exploded. This is why. Our Discord exploded. Our Discord is so popular. It, it's just, it's so popular. It exploded. This is why. And and so, f first of all, for those out there don't know what I'm talking about, you're more welcome to come to our Discord. Uh, there's a, all you do is come to the YouTube channel and you see this link right here, right there on the top, and you just click on that and then you cut, get right into our Discord. And you can have conversation, talk, and, and you can learn. Dividend income 
to me is the singly most it's it's the game changer it's the game changer and if you if uh if it's a game changer for me let me just highlight again it's it's a game changer for me i i'm i am i am convinced uh i am a, i am a believer and i'm i'm going after i'm going after it big time that is that is that's why that's why you see me do it okay how you do it well that's the art that's the art of it some people do it differently some people do it better and some people do it some people do it safely they go in shd they just buy nothing but shd because it's safe or some people like me a little more high risk and most of us in the high yield dividends we're going after that one percent that one percent that's why that's why we call ourselves the Khmer's, like the mayans uh mayan motorcycle gangs uh not the mayans the mongols i'm sorry there's there's also a motorcycle gang called the mayans Here's the Mongols, all right? The, these are gangs, all right? So they're not, we're not gangs and we're not motorcycle club, all right? Here's the Mongols, uh, that's the Hell Angel. The Mongols, the Mongols, there's not a single person from Mongolia, just like the Khmer, there's, I'm probably don't, there's probably like maybe, you know, a few Khmer people in the Khmer. Uh, it's just like the Mongols, it's not, there's not, you don't have a lot of Mongols, it's just a name. Uh, because they go after the roaming, you know, uh, they, they, their concept is just like the Genghis Khan. They were roaming Marauder. They just go around roaming the world, roaming the world. But the part that I like about this is this is the way I copy it from. Essentially, they, they almost all motorcycle gangs, they consider themselves the one percenter. They, they live off the, 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 the fringe of society, the one percent. That's not what we're doing. We, we like society. We like the rule of law. We like we like. We like these things because we're investor. But however, dividend yield investor, uh, essentially, I don't think we're in one percent. I think we're like 0.001 percent. That number is even lower. The, the, the high yield dividends is extremely low population, extremely uh, very niche group of people. We're going after high yield dividends, and not only are we going after high yield dividend, we're going after that delta, that the the, the differences of that one percent. Because some company, some stock, some ETF, are even, you know, we're going after the number where it's a breaking point. Whatever the breaking point is, we're going after that number. That, that's that's even smaller, and that because reason why I do that is to maximize that income gain, to max that income gain, because I'm trying to cheat. I'm trying to cheat what the law of math, the law of the universe is telling me, which is time. Now we're trying, we're essentially trying to buy something that is God-like, uh, reaching at the God level, at the universe level. Because we're trying to cheat death, essentially. Because the normal state is 3%, 59, 59 years old, you retire, you collect your money. That's the normal state. No, we want to do this fast we want to do this within three years five years four years whatever the years for me in my case i got two more years left so i got to do it fast and so essentially i'm trying to go after that 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 i don't know what it's called in the military we have it a name for it but i don't know what they call in in the, the world of investment we're talking about the delta before it flip over at some point in statistic there's a numbers if you go too much on the extreme on the other side, it will flip over and you fail. We're going after that that threshold, the, the, the line where you're about to fail. That's that's cheating death right there. Because we're trying to say, give me the most return in the shortest amount of time so I can get the most income right now. And with the income right now, I can go buy a safer vehicle. So if I have five thousand dollars a month, this is my my plan. It's always been my plan from the beginning. Once I generate five thousand dollars a month at the end of my three year cycle, I'm in I'm in the one year of my three year cycle. I have two more years ago, and I'm I'm close. I'm I'm at three thousand dollars now. But once I reach five thousand dollars a month, 
I will take that $5,000 a month. I'm not, I don't need to buy Tesla anymore. I don't need to buy Clip anymore. I don't need to buy something that's, that uh, I can. I can always do it and keep it until until I there's no need to buy it. But now I can take that $5,000 a month and buy SEHD. For the next three years, because I don't need the money right away, because I'm, you know, I'm, you know, I don't need it right away because I have my pension and all that stuff. So I take that five thousand, I buy SHD, and I just grow SHD. I was never against SHD; it's just not the time right now. Or I can go buy Tesla. I can go buy something. I'm always going to go buy dividends because I want that money income. But now SHD is safe. It's very safe. It's not going to fail. It's not going to fail. Not like, you know, not like some, some other investment like QQY, like I'm going after. Like if you're going after QQY, I don't know. I don't know what QQY is going to do. I don't know what Clip going to do five years from now. But, you know, because I don't, I don't believe in K-Web as much as I believe in Tesla. I know Tesla's not going to fail. Uh, it's it's definitely Disso. Disso is probably gonna fail. Disso is Disney. Like this is gonna probably gonna fail. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Disso. I don't believe Disso as much as so, so I don't even believe the underlying stocks. So, yeah, so so I will just go buy things that's gonna last for a while, like Microsoft, Apple, Tesla. So then I can get the dividend and I just retire from that, you know. So. That's why the $5,000 a month was so important for me. Generating income is the most important thing that I that I cannot stress. It's that's why let's go back to my powerpoints. That's why the core of my investment strategies, I got to figure out how to clean this powerpoint, clean it up so I can explain it easier. Core of my investment strategy is generate di dividend. Ultimate goal is is to make five thousand dollar dividend. Five thousand dollars a dividend. That's it. Once I get five thousand dollar dividends, I can a month. Five thousand dollar dividend a month. I can go buy anything. I don't have to worry about it. So it's it's the first topic of it. New investors should focus on income strategy first. Put the um, Discord web address in chat. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't uh, read chat yet. What's going on, chat? Oh, we're just having a couple of side conversations. That's all. All revolving around what you're doing. In fact, just a little bit ago, Jim said, this is the best show you've done yet, Camille. Finally, a dividend vid without the jumping all over the place with 100% different subjects. Please do more like this. Thank you. Oh. Hey, good morning, retiring dividends. Uh, good morning, everyone. I haven't read chat yet, so I, Matt is uh, read chat for me. I appreciate it, Matt. Thank you for for hosting that side of the uh, YouTube channel. Um, I'm just too busy looking at PowerPoint and Excel and getting to a point here. Yeah, so this is the core. It's the it's the core of the investment strategy. And if you if you understand this and you get five thousand dollar dividend a month. Um, I'm telling you, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. Whatever job that I work, whatever job that I transition to, I'm, I'm absolutely confident that when I retire from the military, I'm going to get a good job. I, I'm going to get a good job. I'm going to be happy. I'm absolutely confident. I cannot imagine me being a bum. But however, I have a backup plan. Number one, I have $5,000. The worst case scenario, I have $5,000 a month backup plan. But whatever job that I get, this $5,000 is in addition to what I get. So I make more money than I was in the military because I already have half of the salary that I get from the military to the pension plan. But now I get $5,000 in, in addition to it. And this is where you're gonna, this is why I think, I think the next two year is a very positive thing. I think this is why my girl is happy. My girl, my girl is an ABG. And all she see is like travel, vacation, eating, Ra Ramsey food, you know, just, just living the good life. All right. Um, yeah. So 
if you if you have any questions, just come in and and just come into our Discord, join us. Please subscribe, please comment. Let me update these information first. Uh, this is our Discord, uh, so if you want to join us on Discord, uh, let me go and pull all the other uh, links and put it here. This whole, uh, let me stop the recording. Uh,